What's up guys, it's Tim from Everyday Tactical Vids and today we're looking at this guy from Gerber. As you can see here, it is the Exchange of Blade Saw. And I got this guy because I wanted an item in my survival kit that I could use for cutting um, something beyond just my survival knife that I would use kind of with a, with a batoning method or other cutting method. I wanted something that was kind of dedicated to doing some serious cutting, whether, you know, make, getting firewood, getting things for various survival situations. And so I got a hold of this guy. Uh, we'll talk about it here in the basement, give you a quick rundown of some of the specs, and then take it out into the field and talk about it a little bit. Here's what it looks like opened up, and as you can see, it's about 14 and a half inches long end to end. It also comes with this separate blade, which you can swap out, thus the uh, exchange of blade uh, description. This has finer teeth, and this guy was actually inside of this, so you get this little sheath with it. And it's got an option so you can put it on your, um, let me just roll my finger under there, put it on your belt and then fold it up and actually carry the whole thing right in there. One thing I did want to note here is obviously this guy's made by Gerber, but on the back of the package you can see down here, Fiskers. And um, if you're familiar with saws at all, they uh, make a variety of folding saws. So basically Gerber looks like they've teamed up with Fiskers to, uh, to make this guy. All right, so we're out here. We got the uh, Gerber exchange blade saw. Take it out of the uh, package here. Just press the button, this gray button here, and you'll fold it out. Lock it in place. Now I really crank this other side down nice and tight so that there's not a lot of wobble with the blade. There is a tiny bit of play. I don't know if you can zoom in there, maybe against my chest so you can see. Tiny bit of play in the uh, blade, you know, 16th of an inch or something like that. But just kind of how it is. So we'll uh, take it to this tree. This is a little bit wet and rotted, but we'll see how uh, see how well it works, how quickly we can get through it. So there you go. This, this is wet, so it did take a little bit more. I had to put a little downward pressure, but you can see the size of the uh, you know what we're talking across here compared to the size of the blade made some pretty quick work out of that guy when you want to exchange the blade what you're going to do is on the right side of the saw get this little knob crank that guy open you got your uh, metal bolt inside there is a little bit of grease on there so just be aware and I've got the uh, the finer blade Basically just going to slide it in between the two sides of the saw and then line up the hole. Put this guy back in. Make sure it's nice and tight when you uh, put it back together. And then ready to go and I can press the button and fold it up. All right, guys, I'm out at the range here. We just did a review on the Gerber Exchanger Blade Saw. And uh, interestingly enough, I always want to give you the accurate information to Everyday Tactical Vids. So um, my buddy Nathan was just using it. And uh, check, take a look and see what happened to the blade. So not so hot. And uh, Nathan, you were cutting some hemlock it is right there? Uh, yeah, pine probably. Some sort of pine, yep, OK. Pretty, pretty. Uh... It's on its way. It's not definitely not green wood. It's dead. It's pretty moist. We we're just gonna dry it out so we can get it on the fire. And you can see what's left of the blade is still lodged in there. I wasn't being overly aggressive. Uh, you know, just trying to just trying to make make work of the blade. There you go. Um, I don't know if it speaks to the maybe the steel that uh, is in this because it was certainly plenty sharp. Um, you know, it's I've cut made some other cuts on this particular log already. Perhaps it's the uh, length of pull. If we had a longer length of pull, maybe I, you know, pulled it out too far. But either way, this uh, didn't like what I was doing apparently. So you All can right. see kind of the uh, S curve there from the force. Yeah, a little beat up. And we're not being super aggressive with it; just doesn't hold up. So, 15 bucks, maybe not exactly worth it. So I'll probably take this guy back and exchange it out. Maybe I'll get another one and try it for a while. But at least when it comes to the exchange blade right now, it went from a pass to a fail.